Welcome back team. In this video, we're going to be looking at the data type char. Now, the first thing I'd like to define is what is a char field used for? A char field is used for when we have codes that are standard lengths. And it's best if I show you a web page that's got these so you can kind of like understand them. So here you can see that I have the country codes in two digit, three digit, and numeric. And notice for this alpha two code, all of the countries are two digits. You know, they're not, there's not some that have three and some have four, some have one. They all have two digits. So this would be a grade char two. Now we can also define each of these countries in a alpha three code and all of them have a three-digit code. There are three letters that make up this three-digit code. So the char field is great for these codes. It's, it's not good for like first name and last name because everyone has a different length first name and last name. It's not good for a company name. It's not good for a university name. And I, I hope you get what this thing is used for. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a small table called TST chart test M. And I'm going to put in three different fields. One is a chart length one, two, and four. And let's do that. And I'm going to refresh. And there are our columns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert into this table, but notice I'm only going to insert one character into each. And if we can remember what that one chart looked like is two and three, I, I used up all the columns. On char one, which is perfect, it used up the column. But on this char two, I'm only inserting one character. And a char four, I'm only inserting one character. Let's see what happens. So when I go and do the select command, select star, it comes out and it tells me, hey, I've got a AAA in there. But what happens is you're not seeing what's really there. So this right here is just uh, for some information only to really explain this. The ASCII value of capital A is 65. And the ASCII value of the space is 32. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the ASCII value of that letter one. Remember when we executed that letter one was only defined as a char one and we put the, so when I get the ASCII of that first character, it should return us 65 here. Nice. Now look at this one right here. I'm going to try to go past what I defined char one. I'm going to go look at the second character. So this is the substring. This is the field, where you want me to start, and how long. So it was only defined as a char one. This right here should fail. And it returned as null because it does not exist. The next uh, char is a char two, and we only put an A in there. So if I go look at that first character, char one, the very first one should be a 65 because it's an A. Now, what is going to be in char two? Let's look at that SQL state again to go select the data. It appears that it just returned as A, but actually what it returned is a 32. So there's a space after this A that we just don't see. And that is why I had to bring in this ASCII value to uh, figure that out. Now, if we were going to look at the uh, third column, letter three, letter three, letter three. Now, that first letter in letter three was an A, right? 65. The second letter was a space of 32. And so was the third and fourth. 
So as you see here, the char is fixed record length. And why it's used, it's used for codes and we know the max length. So if we knew that the code was, for instance, like this country, and we wanted to store the three digit version, we would say char three. And there you have it, the data type char fixed length sequence.